On Pinterest, there are over 5.7 billion food pins and 950 million recipe pins. It's clearly the go-to place to discover new recipe inspiration. In the works now, a Pinterest cookbook. And our next guest is looking for your input. Winner of Bravo's Top Chef, Stephanie Iser. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. How are you? We are fantastic. It's good to have you here. So where do you find creative inspiration to basically incorporate into your cooking? I get creative inspiration from all over. Sometimes I'm lucky enough to get some free time to do traveling and I take inspiration wherever I go. Um, but otherwise it's flipping through books and nowadays I think just looking online there's so many recipes. And on Pinterest there's always these amazing pictures whether it's of great recipes that have gone so well or things that maybe haven't gone so well. So I think there's lots of inspiration to be had. Describe the new exciting project to create the first ever Pinterest cookbook. Yeah, I'm excited to partner up with Lays Wavy on creating this first ever Pinterest cookbook because Adding that extra crunch to dishes is just one of my favorite things to do, as well as using unexpected flavor combinations. Um, but I think the best part is that fans are going to help me decide which flavor combinations to use as inspiration for these recipes. All right, can you give us a few examples of these unique tastes and texture combos? Sure. If you go on Pinterest.com backslash Lay's Wavy, you'll see pictures of things from deviled eggs to donuts to grits to sushi, some things we see in everyday life, but then they're partnered up with different flavors of Lay's Wavy from hickory barbecue to ranch to cheddar. So some unexpected flavor combinations, and I think if you pin the right ones, you'll try to stump me a little bit with these recipes. Um, but I'm excited to just give it a try, especially sushi with some Lay's Wavy potato chips. Who knows what could happen? Have you created a dish for the cookbook or is it your goal to just kind of sift through all these other recipes? I have. I created the first recipe just to get things going with the cheddar Lay's Wavy that just came out. Um, inspired by apple pie when you have a little bit of cheddar in the crust, which I love because it adds that bit of a savory note. I made a crumble topping. It's got oats, a little bit of sweetness, and then a little bit of the cheddar's Lay's Wavy. So it adds that note of cheddar along with extra potato chip crunch. So it's something you can put on top of your pancakes. I've got apple pancakes right here. Something you can put on top of your ice cream. You can bake it on top of muffins, put it on top of your yogurt parfaits in the morning. So, or you know, honestly, just eat it right out of the bowl. But just adding that extra crunch to it, I think is a lot of fun. All right, so how can our viewers get involved? Yeah, the, it's super simple. Just go to Pinterest.com backslash Lay's Wavy and look at these different pictures and pin your favorites. And then I'm going to take the top 20 to start turning into recipes for May when the cookbook comes out. It's available in May. Uh, will we find it at regular bookstores? It's actually just available on Pinterest. So it's the first ever cookbook that's available just on Pinterest. So exclusively from Pinterest, at Pinterest, some of the recipes you've mentioned, do you taste the chips or is it something where family and friends would notice a difference. I think it depends on the recipe. Like this crumble topping, when you take a bite of it, you get the cheddar and the potato in the back and you're like, what is that that's making this just a little extra crunchy and a little different than is expected when I look at it? So I think that's what's fun about using the Lay's Wavy in the recipes is that you might not know what's in there at first and then when you find out it really all makes sense. I've used chips in, uh, you know, some basically savory dishes, but never in dessert. Remind us again where our viewers can go to to submit recipes. Sure, just Pinterest.com backslash Lay's Wavy, and you'll see all these great pictures that you can pin and uh, start giving me some inspiration. I'm 